Hi, I'm here to uh, review an interesting product that I saw on eBay. Um, the name of the product's just a 5 volt wireless charger module, 1 to 20 millimeter power supply kit receiver transmitter. And I thought I'd just buy it with no intended application, as I thought it might be quite a useful little thing to have in the lab. Um, and basically what it is, is two little boards with their uh, coils and uh, one's the, like obviously one's the transmitter which you put 5 to 12 volts in and one's the receiver which spits out what I'm reading as 5.1 volts. And um, it's actually not too bad at all and the current consumption power is quite um, low. What you can do with it um, is quite a lot of st stuff I mean because the the range is about one to two centimeters or less obviously and um, you can use it to make your own little uh, wireless phone charger or you can make a little system that um, just powers your electronics when you put it in a certain place so so to give a little quick demonstration what I've done is I've got 12 volts um, set up uh, on here and um, limited to one amp and right now with no load um, so the coil receives nowhere near the transmitter um, it's always consuming one watt which um, isn't ideal it's not particularly low power at all but um, you will see that this doesn't tend to change that much so um, and on the other side what I've got uh, is um, the receiver hooked up to uh, my digital multimeter reading voltages and you can see that when I hold it over um, by the wires it's not so you can see the voltage slowly rise and uh, with no load still it's it, the current consumption is still um, the same the closer I get the more it reaches 5 volts and you can see about two to three centimeters it starts to saturate at about 5.1 volts and um, that that is about as high as it goes really um, I mean when I move it closer you can lift, you can have it touching and it still works but you will probably figure out that there is a sweet spot if you really want to get an optimized energy consumption uh, system and, and it, I found out it was about one centimeter or seven millimeters but it, it does work um quite quite far apart um so if i was to measure this at the point where it drops um to less than 5.1 or let's say less than 5 volts you'd say this is about two and a half centimeters so just as a quick demonstration i decided to um put on uh, a tin c 3.2 the blink um uh, program and so if I if I uh, hook up the power as well to the uh, Tinsy, you can see that um, while I go to uh, with 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 systems that can take down to three point six volts, it's actually very useful because you can. Um, You can uh, that uh, that's a loose wire, <laughs> so you can um, you can bring it down uh, the the distance to about two to three centimeters, and it, it does work quite well. I mean, you can lift it up. You, you can really go to town with this. I mean, but the thing is, I keep dropping it below three point six, so it starts working. But you can see um, uh, and the load on the um, input. Uh, is actually the current consumption power consumption is quite sim uh, similar it doesn't really go over uh, 100 milliamps and um, earlier I did hook up a Tinsy 3.6 and um, the current consumption rose to about 120 milliamps but that that is a 140 megahertz uh, microcontroller so um, it's quite a simple little uh, um, two-piece uh, thing you can use in your projects. Quite cheap. It cost me five pounds thirty, and um, 
and it's uh, from the seller 2015 all-in-one on eBay and uh, here's a screenshot um, I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions comment and I'll try and answer as many as I can thank you very much